Oh my gosh, Lisa, I'm so excited to start a business. I just signed up for your webinar. I'm so excited for your webinar. When is it again? I can't wait. Um, I was busy with work. This happens all the time. People get excited over something. They get excited over starting a business and then it fizzles out. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you why this happens and what you can do so you can move forward in starting and building your business. Sounds interesting? Well, watch this video up to the very end and I'll be very happy if you can give this video a like and share it with at least three of your friends who also need to watch this video. My name's Lisa Mackey and I love helping driven people like you start, build, and grow their dream business successfully. I upload a new video every Wednesday, so hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of every video I post. So why do people like you and me get excited in the beginning and then chicken out in the end? So it may be the same example I gave, or maybe you got so excited in starting your business and now you're demotivated, or maybe you already started the business and now you're thinking, oh my gosh, maybe I'll fail. So why does this happen? Well, let me explain something to you about this brain. Now, this brain is scared of any change. It is the way it is. Every time it senses something different, it panics, it gets scared. So it pulls you back to its comfort zone. Now that excitement that you have over something is your gut feel, your instinct. It's there to lead you to the right direction. It's there to lead you to the path of success. But this brain is always scared of anything different. It's always scared of change. So it's always going to pull you back to your comfort zone. And when that happens, all imaginable excuses will come running to the brain's defense. And this is why all of a sudden you're just like saying, well, I got so busy or, oh, I don't have time. Oh, I changed my mind. So all those excuses are like, kind of like a defense mechanism. So how do you deal with a brain like that? Well, you need to pull it to the other side, your gut feel side. But to do that requires a change of default. Now, incidentally, I explained that concept of default in my book, Simplify to Intensify the Business Edition. This is now available in Amazon, and I'll also include a link in the video description, so you can check that out later. Now, don't mind this. This is just a proof. You won't have this one when you order the book. Now, that comfort zone that your brain wants to remain in is your brain's default. Now, to change the default, you need to first know what that default is and then to know what the root issue is so you have to really dig deep to find out what's causing the default so you can change it so i'll give you a very clear example that i used in the book okay so you'll also find the same story in the book so my default was my fear of expanding my business so i was scared to expand my business so i knew i needed to shift to my new business but to do that, I would need to expand. I would need to outsource my services. I would need help. But my fear of expanding just kept me in my comfort zone. And it took a while. It took a while. And it was really challenging. I even had recurring dreams of me having workers and then I didn't have money to pay them. So that's how bad it got. But I knew where it was coming from. I knew exactly where, where it was coming from. I didn't even need to figure it out. It was rooted to my past experience when I got financially broke. So the next step is to change her default. So I created two scenarios, worst case and best case. For my worst case, I asked myself, what are the worst things that can happen if I don't expand? Well, my list was scarier than my fear of expanding. And then for my best case scenario, I wrote down every, every good thing that will happen if I finally expand. So I changed my default from I'm scared to expand to I'll expand so I can. Write down that default and read it to your brain every day or every time it feels like or you feel like your brain is pulling you back to your comfort zone. So other than default, another thing that stops us from moving forward is overwhelm. Well, my transition from where I was to my new business was just so overwhelming. It's like 
I had so many things to do and I didn't even know where to begin. Now that in itself can be overwhelming. And if you're like me with a gazillion ideas, things can even get pretty overwhelming. I was all over the place, but not really accomplishing a lot. So how do you deal with overwhelm? The answer is simplify. And how do you simplify? Focus on only one. You can add those other details later on, but for now, focus only on one. But Lisa, I can't do that. I have different services. I have so many different skills. I can offer a lot to other people. Well, all I can say to that is good luck because that's exactly where I was. And it just kept me stuck. I couldn't move forward. So you need to simplify. You need to focus on only one. So how do you do that? Well, before I give you an example, I just want you to remember that when you focus on one, you make it easier for your audience and the algorithm to understand you and your message. It just simplifies things and it makes it easier for you to move forward. Okay, now let me give you an example. Let's say you are a life coach, okay? Or you wanna be a life coach. What is that one thing that you have lived and experienced? What is that one thing that people come to you for? What is that one thing that you're very passionate about? What is that one thing that you have overcome? So focus on that one thing. So let's say that you went through a very difficult divorce and you have overcome. So now you can focus on just helping women go through the challenges of divorce. So you have a more specific niche, you have a more specific message, and therefore, you simplify things which will be easier for you to move forward and be successful at what you do. So every message you share, every content you put out will just be very targeted and specific to helping women overcome their problems in divorce. So that really simplifies everything. The third reason why we can't move forward in business is lack of funds. While that may be true, the reason is more up here. And let me tell you why. Because everything we want so badly, we'll find a way to get. I mean, many years ago, when I was still a smoker, so thank God I quit a long time ago. But I remember wanting cigarettes so bad that it didn't matter if I had the money or not. I was able to get it because I wanted it so bad. So that's how we are. That's how our minds are programmed. If we want something so bad, we'll find a way to get it. So if lack of funds is the reason why you have not moved forward, you have not conditioned your mind that you really want to be an entrepreneur, or you probably lack the seriousness in becoming an entrepreneur. I'm sorry, but this is the truth. And every successful entrepreneur out there will tell you the same thing. But Lisa, I'm really serious. I just don't really have the money to start a business. Well, if you're really serious and you don't have the money to start the business, you can still start it with whatever you have. You can still make it happen. Every big thing starts with something small. So let's use the same life coaching example that I used earlier. So let's say that you wanna be a life coach. And if you go the normal route, you'll probably be getting your certification, which will cost you probably thousands of dollars. And then you'll have to create your webinars. And so you have to pay for a platform, for a platform which will probably cost you another thousand dollars. And then you want to outsource your marketing materials, which will probably cost you like 2000 to 3000 dollars plus additional fees if you want to do it on a monthly basis and so on and so forth. There's just a lot of costs if you want to go the normal route. But who said you have to go this route though? I mean, I can start a life coaching business with no money. Seriously, I can start a life coaching business today with no money. I will use whatever resources I have in my hands. I have a computer. I have a phone. I, all I have to do is start making videos to promote myself. Facebook is free. Other social media platforms are free. I will just promote myself organically. And that's how I started my other business back then. I was just promoting it with free ads because I didn't have money to start with. And really, you don't need certification. You don't need certification to be a life coach. I mean, if you can afford it, maybe it can add to your credentials. But I, let me tell you something. Your experience 
is more powerful than your certification. People are not going to hire you because of your certification. It will add their credentials, but they will hire you because they know that you can help them solve their problems because they know that you too have been there and you have overcome. So that's really all you need. However, investing in something creates more value for our business and so that eventually other people would also be willing to invest in us. So some people just get stuck in, you know, getting free stuff here and there, and then they can't even move forward because that can also keep you stuck. So there are things that you can start for free. Research is free. There are lots of free resources that will help jumpstart your business. I have a free masterclass for women. I have free startup kits that will help you answer some of your questions in starting a business. So all these are free. My YouTube videos are free. Podcasts are free. Blogs are free. So these are things that you can start for free. But eventually, start investing in something. And the best investment really is to sign up for an online course that will teach you everything you need to know in starting and building your business. So this is really going to be very cost efficient. Instead of you purchasing one course here that will teach you how to grow your social media and then another course here that will teach you how to do your podcast. So why not purchase or invest in a program that will teach you how to start and build your business so you can build whatever business you want and then you learn all these other hacks and tricks for free anyways. So if you want to be a life coach, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on certification. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars in hiring a coach. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars in enrolling in an online course. Really, for a thousand dollars or less, you can find a course that will really help you start and build your business. In fact, I have a course that will help you do that, but I'd rather give you something for free. I have a free webinar that will help you move forward from where you are to finally starting and building your business. It will help you transition smoothly from where you are now to full-time entrepreneurship and help you build a successful business. So check the link in the video description after watching this. So I hope this video has encouraged you to move forward in starting and building your dream business. That dream business is there because you're meant to make it happen. Now let me know in the comments below what resonated with you the most in this video. And don't forget to check the links in the video description for your free resources. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of every video I post on Wednesdays. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again in the next video.